Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Like it. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah let's do it. One? Yeah, bail yeah. points probably be your second. <laughs> yes. Just yeah. getting ugly. Let's just go live in. Definitely Welcome, everyone, you know? to the yeah. 2023 yeah. Sentinel Storage yeah. Alberta yeah. Scotty's yeah. Tournament yeah. of Hearts. Here we are so at like Tasquin, Alberta, a co op place. Like a 15 Our first matchup okay. today is uh, one of the marquee matchups, I would say, between uh, Team Hunkin and Team Rock. Good match. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. It appears yeah. as though Team Hunkin has won the last stone draw for Hammer. Team Rock will be throwing the yellow stones, throwing first. Team Hunkin throwing the red stones. I liked it. Oh, yeah. I yeah, here we go, it. Jason. Yeah. We're going to start off with the center guard and get some rocks in play and hopefully uh, have an exciting few ends. Absolutely. So I'd love to introduce the teams for everyone here. We have Team Rock uh, with with lead Zoe Cinnamon today. Yeah. Rochelle Brown uh, is unavailable to play this morning draw. We have second Dana Ferguson, third Danielle yeah. Schmiemann, and skip Kelsey okay, Rock. Got it. Throwing the red stones, we have yeah. Team Hunkin, lead Dana Demers, second <laughs> Becca Hebert, third Kristen Streifel, Thanks. and skip Jesse Hunkin. Thank you. What was it? Four seven. Four seven. Okay. Yeah, we should, <coughs> should have a good match up here today, Jason. Uh, two of the uh, favorites, I would think, in, for the event, facing off first game. Up, Might see uh, whoa, whoa, play a little cautious whoa, early, getting used to the ice here. Way. Throw Nine. a few hits. Nine four. Yes, getting uh, some of the inside scoop from some of the players yesterday at the pre-event practice. The ice seems right. to be curling lots. I think we're getting about uh, five feet of curl or so uh, with uh, head oh, ice tech Matt Yo here in okay. uh, in the Wetaskiwin co-op place. Okay. Uh, yeah, ice looks real good. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, just into the 12 foot to get to the button, right. running about uh, yeah. just under 15 seconds, probably like 14.7, 14.8 to the T-line. Uh, nine four, yeah. Can't ask for much more than that. No, you can't. It should be good conditions all week. I think it makes sense uh, just having a, a new player out on the ice just to keep things simple right off the hop. First game of the event. Nice. It's not surprising to see uh, them trading takeouts here in the first. Yeah, looking across the sheets, uh, most of the teams are doing this. Uh, Playing a fairly fairly open first end and kind of ease into it, get used to the ice surface this morning, and we'll see uh, probably a lot of more rocks and play as we go. Help! Yeah! Hold! Looking across the sheets, Ten! over on sheet A Hold! we have Team Sturme versus it. Team Stixma. On it. sheet B we have Team Richards versus Nine Team eight. Skrillic, Good. and on sheet C we have Team Parent versus Team Scheidegger. Uh, all of the all of the draws will be opening at, uh, yeah. or I guess all of the draws will be streamed here on uh, Curling Stadium. 
Uh, this is new for Curling Alberta to have all of their games streamed at the same time. So if you're looking to catch that, you can find that on Curling Alberta YouTube as well as Curling Stadium. Draw, take advantage of it. Cool. So slippery out here. <laughs> Give us a 15. Going to the wing, I think 15. Wait, close. Here's Becca Hebert yes. sliding out, throwing a draw. She actually used to play with. Uh, the back yet. end here, Danielle Schmiemann and Kelsey Rock. So, I'm not entirely sure if they've played each other before Mine's or since then. Uh, but we'll have a friendly matchup between uh, past teammates. Can't hurt it. Come down here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Nice brush, guys. 15 5. Good judge. Kick down a hair. Yeah. If anyone's coming down to uh, watch the games this week, the Ice Lounge is open. We've got a few people down there yeah, enjoying a cold beverage five. and watching the game. It's a uh, really neat uh, view from down on ice level. See a lot of the action and, and get quite hair. close to, to the curlers. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. So come on down, check it out. We also have about 300 students here in attendance this morning from various schools in Wetaskiwin in the area. So they'll have plenty of fans here to cheer on, at least in this morning's draw. Yeah, we've had some great community involvement for this event. Uh, lots Whoa. of great sponsors, which we'll go over here shortly. And schools Whoa. are really involved coming out. We've got 300 kids this morning and another 300 coming out tomorrow Whoa. morning. Introduce Curl them to hair. the game and, and hopefully get some of them into curling. 9-4. Good throw. Oh, pretty yeah, straight out in the wings. Yeah, not doing a whole lot. You can hear the, the yeah, players there talking about how straight the hits are. The pretty common on arena ice, so. uh, up the weight a bit, and it runs a touch straighter, and you get a lot get that curl on your on your softer shots, the draw shots, and the tap backs. Definitely another reason why uh, it's important it's okay. to keep things simple here in the first end, especially for Team Hunkin here with the hammer. Uh, eliminate as much risk as you can, and you know those rollouts don't seem to be too costly here in the first. Top button, you know, top four, it's really nice. So, ten, ten. What would the you see a lot of the ladies teams use uh, numbers for for the weights, Jason? Um, a ten is is normal hit weight. Is that about right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know some some teams tend to use oh. different terms. Uh, you know, control weight, normal weight. Oh. Uh, you could hear from some teams, but um, oh. these two teams they prefer to use t uh, the times between the hog lines. So ten would just be ten seconds yeah, between nine. the hog lines. Right. Okay, nice throw. As I said there, that was a nine. It was uh, a bit too much weight, and it undercurled as a result. Just shaking the rust off this morning. I'm sure the nerves are flowing too a little bit. Uh, it's a big week for everyone, trying to get to the Scotties. So yeah. Ease into it and yeah. get off to a good start. Hey, Les. The top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Still top eight. Top four top now. Four. Almost T. Oh, that's right. So I think we'll see a series of hits here to finish <laughs> the end off and a, a blank attempt by uh, by Hunkin and carry the hammer to the second end. We'll see how it unfolds. Clean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. So while these teams trade takeouts here, Clean. I might as well yeah. go over the, yeah. the format for this year's yeah. provincial championship. So. Uh, here, here at the co-op place, we'll have an eight-team provincial. It's an eight-team round robin, so every team will play everyone else throughout the 
throughout the week. They'll play their seven games. And the top three out of the eight will advance to the playoff round on Sunday. Uh, should there be a tie for third, we might uh, see a tiebreaker on Saturday. Um, first place would receive a bye to the final with second playing third in the semis. Yeah, very important. Every single game in the round robin, this format counts, right? Especially uh, this early in the event with two big teams here playing each other. Every win, every win is huge, so... Should be some good action at the end of the week. Some meaningful games. Lots of uh, intensity and should be some good curling action. Absolutely. Yeah, by the uh, by the end of the week, we'll see a lot of what ifs. You know, if this team wins then and this team loses, then we'll be this place. Uh, let the dominoes fall where they, where they may. And as Kelsey Rock knows, is the rock here in the top four. Really nice. Three teams actually, or sorry, four teams pre-qualified for this provincial <laughs> oh championship. Crazy. Team Honkin was one of them. Team Rock had to go through uh, one of Curling Alberta's provincial okay. qualifying okay. events in Rimby, right Alberta. Now. They qualified through the A side. I think they went 4-0 on that run uh, to get to this point. So they took the long way. <clears throat> they got some extra practice along the way yeah uh, one of my past coaches said if you if you don't qualify through the a side that just means you need more practice and you deserve to be out there curling and <laughs> as long as you make it to the playoffs everybody yeah, usually yeah, starts yeah. around the same point oh, yeah. that's right and that's where they are now as we look across the sheets it appears as though at least on sheet A, they're taking a similar strategy of trading takeouts. But we have seen uh, at least some rocks in play in the middle sheets. No, yeah. It's like my neck. Yeah, the Richards for Skrillic game on sheet B looks uh, looks pretty good. A few rocks in play there. Center guard up and a couple rocks in behind it. Uh, sheet C looks, uh, there's a lot of rocks out there. We got Parent versus uh, Scheidegger. No surprise with Scheidegger. It's an aggressive team. A lot of rocks in play and, mm -hmm. and put the pressure on. Here we go with, uh, with Kelsey's last shot of the end, looking for the nose hit. I think with a 10 end game, uh, you'll be more likely to see the first end play out like this, allow them to really get their feet under them. In an 8 end game, I think the Allowing that team to blank the first end, or at least have the opportunity to blank the first end, might be at a bit of a disadvantage. But yeah, I agree. You, you see, a, with the eight end games, uh, tends to be aggressive right from the start. Um, you don't have those two extra ends to catch up if you need to. It's 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 funny. We often see in the ten end games, a lot of teams will blank the first one or two ends. Um, you know, one to get a feel for the ice, but also time management. Uh, bank a little bit of time for, for later in the game, kind of thing. Seems to be a common strategy. Yeah. This is the all-important final stone here from Jesse Honkin, looking to hit and roll out for the blank. Yep. Yep. Throw. Throw on yep. it early, maybe a touch yep. tight out of her hand. Clean. Oh, clean it now. That's what you want to hear. Nice yep. throw. That's a good throw, good shot. Well, mission accomplished for uh, the Hunkin team. They got their blank the first end, and Carrie Hammer into second. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. 
With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. The Roaring Game. We all love it, but sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. Don't get stuck in your curling club this year. Learn the game inside and out. Play for your favorite country and take the curling world by storm. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Hello everyone, we're back here in the second end here in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. Uh, Team Hunkin was successful in her blank attempt in the first. Shoot. He's carried Hammer with the Red Rocks into the second end. Team Rock, uh, without Hammer, throwing the Yellow Stones. Yeah, a little change up this end. We're going to see some Rocks in play here, Jason. Uh, rock team was trying to Halfway. put one in the forefoot and Halfway. slid a little Halfway. deep to the back 12. Okay. And going to see the Hunkin Halfway. team throw up a nice corner guard here and, and try and Halfway. go for a deuce. Coming down. Gotta go high. Good. Really curling. Yeah, as we as we've Gotta seen, especially with the five rock rule, that those leads hard. rocks are so important Keep to be hard. placed hard. Hard. Uh, in hard. the right in the right positions. Hard. As you see, this hard. one in the back hard. twelve hard. is allowing hard. Team Hunkin to throw a uh, basically a free yeah. corner guard. That really came down. Yeah, that one came down pretty pretty big on them. Not too many rocks thrown down the center line there right. last end, so a little slower needles. down the middle. Yeah. Not exactly where they wanted it, but. Uh, I didn't quite see the call. Was uh, exactly. were they throwing a center guard here? I believe they're throwing another one into the rings. Into the rings. Yeah. yeah. Just trying to put it uh, top of the eight foot. That corner guard just wasn't in a in a very good place. The, the yeah, team. on this ice with the amount of curl, it's not really uh, it's not really in play. If you get something around it, they can they can chase it and get it over. I can get a time, yeah. It might be a good guard for another guard. But yeah, that's right. Wrap one around there again we'll for another see corner. what uh, Team Hunkin chooses to do here. Should we play the hit and roll? Yeah, you got it. A bit of a pattern here in the first two ends, just uh, siding on the, oh, so or erring right. on the side of caution with some defensive play hitting some of these rocks in the back of the house yeah I think later on in the game you might see that second corner go up yeah. with that yellow beam behind the okay. T-line uh, like you said keep it keep it simple early on and Whoa. see if you can get a, yeah. an easy know, deuce as they yeah. say if you get a miss hard really hard really hard really hard Let him roll. great sweep by Kristen Streifel as they make the double yeah good shot there double and it is still wide open. Kelsey will make the nose hit here, and we'll probably see a few hits again. What this was end. That, 10 3. 10 3. Good shot. You can hold them there, hey? Yeah. Another comment from Team Honkin saying you really can hold them there. So uh, just echoing that point with the hits running straight. That's a pretty common uh, theme with arena ice is the hits running straight and the draws really working. Cool. Yeah, as a sweeper, I mean, you can attest to this. Uh, it's nice when, when you know as a sweeper you can we'll you can help out. You can really here. affect that rock, hold it if you need to, or, yeah. or give a little bit of curl if it, if it needs it. Okay. So on ice like that, uh, it's very good feeling to know that you can contribute uh, to whoever's throwing. Definitely, yeah. And uh, with, the, with the way that teams are sweeping nowadays, being able to... Sweep for straight yeah, or sweep for curl, yeah, especially with the hits. Really it's, it's nice to be able to control them like that. Right we should be able to hard. see a lot of great shot making right hard, as this game hard, continues hard. along and as the teams really pick up on the ice. Nope. A lot of hits and rolls being made, some double takeouts uh, influenced by the brooms. Oh, a little biter, looks like it's out, hey? It just Gotta get a good out. look at this. They're hitting it. It's a little tough from that camera angle, but it looks like uh, it might be in if they're chasing it. That just curled there? Okay. It went. 
I guess realistically there isn't an alternative as the the corner guard is far too high to come around uh, with the amount of curl in this ice with any with with hack weight a soft hit weight they should be able to to hack it right out of the house so I think this is a good call from Kelsey Rock. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Where they throw? Okay, yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Just key line. Gotta go a bit, I think. Key line. Line's good. Gotta go a bit. This is a good call here. We're seeing the, the oak turn freeze thrown down here. There's a lot of jam possibilities if they can just uh, if they tap this rock a little bit. Those two no bounce on this line. Might get a, a jam out of the Lock it on, line's great. Line's great. All there. Line's great. Nice judge. Okay, it's, it's not bad. It's so lively. Just team rock something to think about. They bounce hard. Absolutely. Might have made Kelsey Rock question her decision to, to stick around there and leave that pocket. They might have got away with one as it just bounced off a bit. Shot there, rid of the red rock, rolled the yellow one out of there. Bit of a free shot for uh, Team Hunkin now. They're gonna, gonna try and get run around that uh, high corner guard, try and get a miss out of Team Rock. I think the optimal depth here for this rock would actually be basically as high as you can in the house, just to give Team Rock the least amount of room to draw around and, and tap that rock out. Yeah, something around you know full 12. I mean, even a biter wouldn't be bad, and then if you know if they, if they hit that, they're out of the range to draw around it. Or, but a full tall would be a good shot right now. Hard there, mm -hmm. line's good. This team, Hunkin, uh, this line's is good. their first year in. I want to say the last few hard. that they've uh, it, played out of Alberta. It. Actually, this team hard, was hard, the hard, old hard, hard, team hard, Silver hard, Nagel out of hard, Team Saskatchewan. Or out of out of Saskatchewan, sorry. And uh, they have elected to play out of Alberta this year with um, with Becca Hebert and Jesse Hunkin both playing or both living here in Alberta. And Kristen Strifel. That That's right. Yep. Seventeen. Good sweep. So that one didn't quite yeah. get in the rings, but uh, it is a good corner guard, so you yeah. can't really leave that there. I think uh, Team Rock can hit that roll to the rings to the yeah, I was thinking left hand side there. Just a true full 12 kind of five. thing. And I think it's a true 15 5. Hunkin will have to hit that again. It's not a terrible tolerance. And as we see Team Rock throwing down, they, uh, they are no stranger to the Alberta Provincials with. Dana Ferguson winning the Alberta Provincials. Um, I want to say two times, uh, both with or both with Team Carey, oh, maybe Chelsea Carey. Yeah, and yeah. She, yeah. she also played with Team Val Sweeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here at the Alberta Provincials, Sorry. no stranger. And uh, oh the back end of Danielle Schmiemann and Kelsey Rock have been to so multiple provincial like finals, get, but almost <laughs> getting to the Not Scotties, close. but falling to. I want to say Dana's team with Chelsea Carey, That's right. uh, That's as well as uh, Team Laura Walker oh, in previous oh. years. Okay. Oh, what happened okay. there? It looks okay. as though uh, yeah. okay. one of the sweepers Burned may have rock. fallen and, and touched that rock. That's An unforced like error gives Team Rock the opportunity to, to, like to put the force on. Yeah, if they can get one right here, oh, go right to the button yeah. with it. Okay. And uh, for Sunken to make a double, probably for one. Um, good opportunity here for, uh, for Kelsey Rock. You often see this a lot in the game. Uh, you got to take advantage when you get those misses or, or unforced errors. Um, you can take advantage of that and capitalize. And you're going to do quite well. Mm. With Kelsey's first here, do you like the idea to, to come around the yellow? 
Well, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, if you throw a center guard, let's say, on that yellow, and and uh, Jesse comes around that, then you're looking at possibly giving up two. So be a little aggressive now. You could split the rings right now, and they, they might try to hit and roll, and then you could hit and roll underneath. So there's a couple different options, but... They're going with the draw, so make it good. Put it right on the button. And teams, uh, teams were uh, good. able to draw the button for Hammer, so Mine's this good. may be on him. Kelsey Rock's draw path that she had in pregame practice. Dana's rock. If not, it gives Time her a room. chance to learn the other side of the sheet. Really got a curl. Hanging out there a bit. They're trying Wait. to get it to curl. Yeah, she's got tons of room for those. Doesn't seem to be moving over too much. Right back. Probably he's stop uh, really full four on the yeah, T-line. So. Yeah. 15-6. I think that's a pro side miss, yeah. though. Uh, is this a 10? Okay. Spacing those rocks out enough that oh, okay. the double is more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Had they been oh, short no. and just kind of chapped off, they might have left an yeah. easier double. Okay. You got it. Looks like Team Hunkin has elected to play the hit and roll instead. It's still not a terrible spot for Rock. Uh, even if uh, Hunkin makes this hit and roll under, they can play the tap Wait, back. 10? Still sit two that way. That Tough shot, but she's going to have an out uh, here on her second one. There was a comment here on this spot that it, it was it was really easy to hold this straight. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, oh. if Jesse, you know, being the veteran skip that she is, shades it on the inside side and lets Becky Hebert hold that straight. Yeah. So it looks like they got a problem with the lights here yeah. on the rock. Just calling for an official to come over. They're using the uh, the sensors, um, so all the, the handles have a sensor in them, and there's actually a magnetic strip just before the hog line. So it senses when your hand comes off the rock, and uh, if it blinks red, you've uh, gone over the hog line, and if it blinks green, you're you're good to go. But we need the light, lights to work to start with, so. Yeah, they don't light up. Joke of skating Kelsey Rock with a curling wheel. <laughs> If they're, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> they're talking to the other team here, to yeah. Team Rock, and they're just telling them to go ahead and throw. Oh my God. I wouldn't be surprised if Dana had said that she'll be the hogline official for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Early in the week, this uh, this tends to happen a little more than late in the week. Once the uh, officials understand which rocks might be the problem rocks with the with the lights, we good to throw? replacing the lights batteries. On here, that's okay. <laughs> Some technical difficulties. Yeah, it happens. Especially the first game or two, you'll see uh, this happen quite a bit, and then they'll uh, get all those handles fixed up and. They do check them all in the pre-event practice. Uh, all the teams uh, get to throw rocks yeah. on every sheet, and officials are watching for the sensors to make sure yep. they're all working properly. So, yep. This gives us a good uh, segue to introduce head official Tom McPhee. Yep. He will be officiating for the event. Tom, is, uh, Tom has been a part of Curling Alberta and their provincial championships for many, many years. Ever since I can remember, yeah, Tom's been around uh, volunteering, doing the officiating. Uh, great guy, very knowledgeable with the game, obviously. And, uh, great guy to have here for our championship. Close. Yep. Clean yet. Hard. All right, well, here Hard. we go with the hit and roll. Hard. Hard, right up. Trying to hold right it here. Gotta Looks go. like it's curling a bit on it. Becca Hebert is holding it. She wants this to stick around. Oh, jammed at the back there. Okay, that one took off on him a bit. Maybe a touch closer to the center line. So yeah. big opportunity for yeah, Team Rock here. You got it. Sit three. One buried on the button. Put the pressure on uh, Team Hunkin. She was able to learn from that first draw as well. So I would I would imagine this one would be pretty close. If she can put this one on the hearts, it's going to be a pretty tough score. You care to wonder if having to stop for that technical timeout may have influenced Jesse's pre-shot routine there. Yeah, it might have. Uh, yeah, yeah, tough to say. We'll ask her after the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice interview question. Yeah. yeah. 
Line's good. Good release, sir. On right on line. Weight looks pretty Got close. Room right now. Jane is rough. Looks like it's uh, running a bit. Running a little straight on him here. Line's really good. Still Dana. <clears throat> Dana, finish if you can. Well, there goes the curl. Looks just a touch heavy, hey? Probably uh, in the back four. Well, it's still cruising. Asking it to sit down. 15-1. 15-1 <coughs> to the back eight. Wow. No sweeping. That's, That's pretty quick. Yeah. 15-1. Oh, really? Well, a bit of an opportunity miss there for Rock, but uh, Jesse so still nice. has to make this shot, so needs a piece of the piece of the four foot to score yeah, one. Yeah, no, you threw right up the stick, so. If your team hunk and let's uh, or let's hope that the the sweepers took notes on the 15-1 call there by by Team Rock, just to relay that information. As Jesse hasn't thrown a draw yet, well, at least since the pregame practice. Yeah, that's a very good point. You got to be watching every single rock that goes down there, don't you? All right. Timing them all and making sure you know the the paths and the speeds for this exact reason. Mm -hmm. Line's good. Line's oh, good. Yeah, Lots of room. Tea, no backing. Lots of line, no backing. Lots of line. Super seems to like a wider line than, uh, Pretty than gradual. Kelsey's draw. Side button. Side four. Looks yeah, a little hot here, Jason. Oh, and it does slip just a little deep. Looks like it'll be a steal yep. of one for Team Rock here in the second end. One so you take the lead one to zero. Yep, thanks. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Back here in the third end of the 2023 Sentinel Storage Alberta Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Uh, the second end concluded with Team Rock out of the Savile Sports Center stealing one over Team Hunkin out of Spruce Grove Curling Club. They will continue to throw first as Team Hunkin has retained the hammer into the third. Ted, I'd like to do a little score update as we move through the rest of the action. Uh, over on sheet A, Team Sturm A has continued to retain the hammer, blanking the first two ends. Scoreless through two against Team Stixma. Team Skrillex scored one in the first as their second end is about to conclude here in the next few minutes. Team Richards having the hammer down one to zero. And on sheet C, Team Schadiger appears to have uh, maintained that theme of rocks in play. They were uh, they were forced in the first end, but uh, they have one sitting on the four foot behind what looks to be four guards here in the second end. Team Parent has the hammer as that uh, that game is about to reach the conclusion of the second. 
Yeah, here we are on our uh, feature sheet here. We saw the center guard go up by Team Rock and uh, Team Hunk and draw around it. So we're going to see uh, Team Rock uh, draw around that now. Get Starting to get a little aggressive. Get some rocks in play. Good turnout this morning, Jason. We've got about, uh, looks like about 100 and 120 people up in the stands, plus another uh, about 100 kids from the local school showed up. So about almost it's 300 hard. people in the stands, and we've got about uh, 30 people in the ice lounge okay. right now. So really good turnout for the first draw yeah. of this, uh, this event. Yeah, lots Shoot, of support for curling it. here in Wetaskiwin. It's very nice oh, to see. We did too. Okay. If you didn't touch that rock, you were probably just too fast. Okay. But I, but I think it hits that four is a good rock. Yeah. But we don't see it because it's so fast. It's just not as Didn't quick. quite bury with that draw there, so it's Wait, open close. for a hit for Team Hunkin. Okay, Probably going to hit and roll Whoa. away to the wing here. Good. Okay. Whoa! Okay, really got curl. Yeah. For like that side too, you think? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Clean! Back off. Right to the edge. Right to the edge. No, that's a great shot. Nice hit and roll. That's nice. a good line call. 11-6. was running a little straighter yeah. there, and they, they managed that rock well. Yeah. Very well executed. Pretty manageable lead. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Didn't take off, do anything crazy at all. Just because that one was still exposed, it left Team Hunk in the opportunity to make that roll. Likely means Team Rock's going to be chasing for the rest of this end unless uh, a roll is made back. Yeah, they're looking to get underneath that center guard and get the play uh, towards the middle. Key line. Yeah. Yeah, you know it here. Hit and roll out there by Team Rock, so this will allow uh, Team Hunk in the draw to the side here. Good call. We'll keep with with the hammer. Try and keep the play away from the center. Um, keep keep Team Rock chasing you out there on the wing. Key line. So a good draw here. We'll we'll accomplish that. Line's good. Go a bit. Stay down. I think the, the most good. important part of this is. Down. The depth. So if they can keep this hard rock just behind the T line, hard, it, uh, it. it doesn't allow Team Rock to hit and roll hard, and stay hard. above the T line. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Yeah. But again, kind of a fresh okay, spot. Okay, okay. Looks like it's caught them. Yeah, yeah same thing in the in the second end there. Not not any rocks thrown down that that path. So got a little caught on that, uh, especially after you just watched your your skipper throw one a little a little heavy the last end. You're thinking it's a bit quicker than it really is. Yeah. Maybe the difference of starting just, just off. off center. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're talking about. Just going uh, into a path that was new territory, just a little bit heavier than some of the other paths. Just curled, yeah. starting on Dana's center. Dana's attempting to make Otherwise a run back okay. here. Yeah, just off nose should get it, and you, you might even keep that rock buried. Oh, really good. Beautiful shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. So the ends turn around a little bit now. Hunkins chasing rock 10, a little 10, bit. 10-5. Try and hit roll you got underneath it. that corner they just threw now. Be a good shot. Good throw. <laughs> Wait, good. Whoa. 10. 10. Whoa. Just a bit too much weight, I think, out of Becca Hebert. Gives yeah. Team Rock the opportunity to use that center guard now. Yes. Yep, put some pressure on, on and <laughs> get around there. Probably uh, just bite the forefoot. Any deeper, you could probably, uh, probably chase it and, and tap it out. Yeah, I think Especially yeah, with the curl in this ice, side. with that soft weight, I think these teams are skilled enough yeah. that depth truly matters on these come around guards. Yeah, it really does. A lot of that has to do with the sweepers, right? Putting those in the right spot at the end. Yeah. A lot of communication involved with that. Yeah. And Dana's saying it's a bit heavy right now, so. T. Top four. It'll be really interesting to see this dynamic between Dana and uh, the other sweepers. Usually she's uh, attached at the hip to Rochelle Brown, but 
uh, this morning. <laughs> nice Michelle one. is obviously not in action. Um, and you see how Dana kind of takes a bit of more of a leadership role here on the, on the, on the sweeps. Yeah, that, that front end's been together, uh, oh. Dana and Rochelle, for quite a few years, yeah. haven't they? 15-5. Uh, very strong front end. Um, work, obviously work very well together, so um, a key part of any team they're on. That one came up a bit short, so we're going to see uh, Jesse's going to get aggressive here and try and go around everything. And get one in there that in the top four. Ad. Got room! That was a good ad! I'd say a bit oh. of a pro side miss, though. Uh, staying buried and... Not curling yet. Making sure that that rock is tough Starting to remove. Does rock. allow for this Dana's shot, rock. but um, forces Hunkin to yeah, be a little go. more yeah, aggressive. You gotta go. you gotta go. Something gotta go. she really hasn't yeah, shown to go. want to be so far this game. Really hard, really yeah, hard, really it really hard. really brings the play towards yeah, the center, really, which is what, what Kelsey right. wants, Team Rock, for sure. 15. 15. It seems like some of these draws uh, are catching them off guard. They're just yeah. on the undercurl side, I think, so far this game. Okay. As, the, as the ice straight. begins, straight. To, as the rocks begins to smooth out the ice, it's. That uh, was a good release, hey? I guess it's maybe straightening out a hair. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah um, okay. It's matter? hard to tell from up here in the booth, but it depends on how you're throwing it, okay. etc. Yeah. Um, but just running a touch straighter right now, I think in the, in the middle. I think if you get a wide, if you're throwing edge of 12, it's really going to come come in there. But we got a hit and roll here from, from Team Rock. A bit straight on him too. Yeah, Seems like whoever really whoever yeah. will be the first to make this roll will be at a pretty big advantage. Right, yeah, first one to get underneath there. Now we're above the T line, so the first one in is going to have a huge advantage. Mm. This one in there. 11 5. Right on the nose, sir. Chill. So see, it, see it one more time here from uh, Team Rock. Great throw. Yeah. We'll see if she's taken out. She's seen this path <laughs> now, what, two or three times? Yeah. See if they really commit to, to, to making that roll. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a bit more ice than Team Hunkin just took. I think she's throwing uh, some less, less weight. Um, a lot of those, oh, yeah, those two hits were good for her very hack, hack plus. Yeah. So I think we're going to see more of a just, just sure back line, just two kind of weight. Ten. No, not with that weight. I think if we get into like the 12, 12 and a half. Yeah, they just threw. Yeah. A little bit more aggressive. Yeah. We were just saying maybe even on the bring it down to that. Like 11? Forward, yeah, 11. Yeah. yeah. Like it was a little Dana. wide out of her hand. We we're waiting for her to try to get it to Hard try over. to help it curl a bit. Looks like Dana's doing a pretty good job of helping this rock. 10-8. Okay. Yeah, a little roll away is not bad either. Okay, the pro side roll. miss yeah, once again. It's uh, really yeah, like most that. important to get the red rock out of the rings, keep the force on, and rolling that other <laughs> way okay. just allowed uh, <laughs> Team Hunkin yeah, to at least attempt the hit and roll oh, in yeah. a different spot, making it a bit harder to make a longer roll. Team Rock's objective would be to force here in the third end, so. Yeah, I was kind of. It's good to be yellow. I curled a whole bunch yesterday, but. Right? Oh, ten and a half. Who knows? Oh, roll behind the corner guard. She's going around the corner here. Okay, it's a hit and roll away. That'll uh, that'll give uh, Kelsey an opportunity to either draw in there and put the pressure on, or or chase that rock if she wishes. I think we might see her draw. I think I agree with you, Ted. We'll see what happens here. Looks like it's grabbed quite a bit. Just grabbed. Oh, oh well. they mentioned it just grabbed. Unfortunate. So that's two unforced errors, yeah, I'd say, the last two ends out of Team Hunkin. Really just unfortunate. Uh, yeah. You know, with uh, 
with the touched rock last end and the, yeah. the rock that, that grabbed this end. Yeah, not much you can do about that. Just got to forget it and get ready to, you know, you're going to have to draw the button on the next one, so start getting ready for that one. Good opportunity for, for Team Rock here, though, to really put some pressure on again. Try and get one top four. Yeah. Right, you see some of the crowd out there, some of the kids from the local schools. Quite a bit up there in the far right-hand corner. And yeah, we hope they brought their noisemakers, <laughs> brought their signs. Enough, <laughs> and uh, they'll be cheering on. Uh, as, as the week goes on, I'm sure they'll have some favorites and bring some signs cheering on some of the local teams or just some newly acquired favorites from farther away. So we're into the 12 foot for for draw around the around the center. So it should curl in there pretty good. Yeah, if Kelsey's able to get this around, it's it's really going to put a ton of pressure on Team Duncan. After the the draw on the last end just slipped a little bit deep, I think the the focus here for Team Rock will be to make Jesse draw. Definitely. Yeah. This one's coming down a bit. They gotta go on. 16 her. one. A little slower on this side of the sheet, definitely. Schmiemann and Ferguson are willing this one into the into the top of the eight foot. Okay, Jesse could uh, she can draw or she can hit and roll. Yeah. She's elected to draw. This will be uh, a good one for her to make. Really, really, really get some confidence. Okay. Uh, confidence going and her draw way down. One. So. I Way better than that. Definitely looks slower than the than the last end there on this side of the sheet for, this draw for here. sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Hopefully they picked up on that and we'll Yeah, like that's yeah. going that way at least. Yeah, yeah this is on the really nice. sheet C side of the of the sheet, so there might be a bit of a pattern yeah, there, one so side okay. being a little heavier yeah, than the other. Yeah, the one the one side is close <laughs> closer to the boards and the fans, so that does sometimes affect uh, the sheets and uh, and the one side differently than the other, but We'll, we'll, we'll see how the game goes and mm -hmm. how that progresses. Last stone from Jesse Lines Honkin good. in the third Lots end. Lots of room. Lots of room. Line's good. Line's good. Lots of line. Line's Sweepers good. Line's Looks good. Pretty close. Gradual Off curl. Yeah, Sorry. Right. Your side one. 14 9. Line's good. Sweepers seem to Lines like great. it. 14 9 line. on that rock. Right to the tee line. It's a good throw. Great draw from Jesse Hunkin. Yeah. Against three to score one point here to not up the score. One one after the third end. Good judge, you guys. So scary because they just I know. <laughs> Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. And we're back here in Wetaskiwin and at Co-op Place. Here at the 2023 Sentinel of Storage, Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Fourth end, the score is tied 1-1. Team Hunkin is throwing the red stones, throwing first this end. Team Rock throwing the yellow stones. It's a nice ad. Tight. Tight on going right now. 
I'd love to take this opportunity to talk about Curling Alberta's online 50-50 draw. Uh, we have daily draws happening from January 17th to January 23rd. They're open daily at 9 a.m. and close at 10 p.m. So purchasing 50-50 tickets online or in venue helps the Wetaskiwin Curling Club and Curling Alberta, who invests in grassroots curling across the province. Buy now for your chance to win big while supporting grassroots curling across the province. We had some really good 50-50s uh, yeah, last weekend at the Pinties Grand Slam. How can play with um, more flow? Raised a lot of money. I think it was close to 120,000 yeah, was raised that was during that really event. Nice so that combination. really good turnout for the 50-50. A lot of great uh, big pots, big prizes at the end of the day. So yeah. make sure you get your tickets and, and hopefully you can win one. I think you can, you can see the current jackpot on curlingalberta.ca slash 50-50. All right, so uh, Team Humpkin threw one top eight. Start off their end, and uh, Kelsey Rock's throwing the corner guard. I think we're going to see yeah. Kelsey uh, go hard for a deuce here with the hammer. Tight. I think we're going to start to see more and more rocks in play here now as we go. get that rock fully covered so definitely open for team rock to make a play on it get roll underneath that uh that center guard we're gonna see sit there from from team rock so still wide open team Rock gonna try and hit roll here. underneath you got it Seems to be a little, a little release sensitive out there, Jason. If uh, any kind of hit weight, if you if you set it out a bit, it's just running real straight on those hits. We've seen that uh, on a few of them so far this game. And that one hit and rolls out, so it's going to give Kelsey Rock the chance to go around that corner guard they threw earlier and and uh, try and uh, set up a deuce for this end. I think that's an indication of just good playing conditions because you want to reward good throws and if. If you're a little bit wide or if you've okay. given it too much of a set, you know, you shouldn't be able to get away with it all the time. Well, that's right. Uh, you want to award the precision, precision throwing and, and uh, the team that throws it the best. We're all there for weight. Your back board. Yeah, it was just a solid board. So, back for that 11-5 error on the 12-5 would have been good. Just hearing from Team Hunk in there, just saying it was solid board. So they're, they're preferring the, the softer weight, and I think it was more an indication of being heavy than maybe a poor throw. That uh, draw by Kelsey Rock there snuck out the other side of the corner guard, it looks like, but just hung into the back 12. Team Hunkin's going to ignore it and go around their center guard and try and get the play towards the middle and put a little pressure on uh, Team Rock here and try and get the force. Real. Yeah, if they chose to Mine's come good. down and, and remove that no. stone in the back 12, they would risk staying Mine's there good. and just giving Team Four Rock something really to draw yes. against. So. Room. Room. I really like this call. Easy, yeah, easy, cool. over curling. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Nice. Okay. Good. Good scene too. That really good shot. In there. Just, just yeah, came off the other side there. Yeah. Give team uh, Team Rock a chance to hit and roll under that corner, and they make this shot, and they're looking you got it. looking really good for a for a score of two this end or maybe more. Mm -hmm. The alarm bells will be going off for Team Hunk in a bit. Definitely. Uh, the bail point. We good. Nice sweet, that guy. Really nice. Great yeah. shot there by Dana. Got it, half. Hit and rolled over. Half. It's uh, about maybe half. just half open, so but uh, puts some pressure on and makes Team Hunk uh, not sure. I think it really close. try and uh, yeah, Dana, chase that rock. And they can't afford that. a miss now or else they'll be in trouble. 11-3. And roll out there, so that's uh, advantage uh, Team Rock here if they can uh, get one in there. Yeah, uh, Kelsey's kind of thinking, I think, if uh, she goes around the corner, yeah, it, it makes a good one. And there. Hunkin draws around the center, she'll be chasing that anyway, so she's going to get around there right away okay. and, yeah. and try and get her deuce like that. Okay. That same draw path we saw there, the second end. That should be quick here. It's close. Top eight? Sweepers like it. Throw looked really good. I don't know. I think top 12. Top eight, top 12! Top eight! Sweep good! Good communication here with the, with the front end and, and the skip. Top four. Top, top eight. eight. It's coming in there nice. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Very well executed sweep. The line, knowing that it might be poking yeah, out, they couldn't take great. it much yeah. deeper than that. Bail yeah, time now for, for Team Hunk, and they're going to have to play this run back and try and keep this uh, the red one there. They're running back in the ring somewhere. Beautiful shot from Kristen Streifel. Stuck it right behind the guard. Great shot. Showing everyone why she is a Canadian junior champion right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Going to see another run back. Same, uh, same throw, but want to make the double here and get rid of those two, uh, two red ones. Shooter will probably roll over towards the corner guard there. And, oh, yeah, and they'll have another corner guard set up. Yeah. But... It wasn't much up, we'll see if Danielle can go exactly. shot for shot here. Yeah. If yeah. she can well, remove both reds, yeah. well, uh, she might leave yep. <laughs> another center guard for Team Hunkin to... Oh, great shot. Yes. That's some great shots we're seeing now. Okay. <laughs> Try to keep it above T. Yeah. But make sure we get buried in there. Buried, yeah, yeah, we want to make sure. This is a scary yeah. one for, for Hunkin. So, uh, she, wants, she needs to draw in there now. Kelsey will have a few options. If she makes a good one, top eight are just biting. She can play that run they just threw. Sit two that way. Um, so Jesse's going to want to want to get this rock in the right spot. Great shot making here in the fourth. Okay. Think a good one here. Same speed. Okay. Yeah, get it buried. Jesse Hunkin here looking to draw one top four. Line's good. Line's close. They like the line. Line's Speed good. looks uh, pretty close. Sweepers are Line's on it. Line's good. Line's good. Close line. Line's good. Coming down a little bit. Line's good. Line's good. Finish if you can. 
Finish. Can I just a finish. touch light? Finish. Hard, Hard. finish. Hard. Gotta go. Gotta oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, go. It's a good shot. Yeah, I got it. Oh, another perfect shot. That was uh, an interesting one. Is that was going to be on a bit of an intermediate track, similar to the draw to the wing in the third end that came up short. It's always tricky when you're crossing that center line earlier in the game. You know, a lot of the draws we saw in the second end were were wide to the center line, and now you've got to cross the center line. You're not quite sure sometimes what it's going to do. A lot of times it's slower down that path and grabs a bit, so it curls more. They manage that really well. Well, here's that uh, raise opportunity we were talking about earlier for, for Rock, if she can stick this one in behind yeah. there. She'll be looking pretty good. Yeah, I think they'll go, go as the button and then just go for the line over there. They're just uh, like even. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think that should be plenty. Or back. Do you want to be back? Well, um, even I think is ideal. Well, even. right off. Oh yeah. yeah. If anything, just yeah. yeah. Touch wide out of her hand. It looked like. I think they just might be on this one off. Okay. Just clears it's that it. guard out of the way. Yeah, I like starting a hair. Leaving Kelsey Rock an strategy. opportunity to still have her chance at one. Yeah, Team Huggins splitting okay. the rings here. So they're going to draw the wide side. And uh, it's Team Rock will most likely have the draw the forefoot for one or, or maybe a nose hit for Just one. Even them up. Got to be careful with this. Uh, like, leave yeah. it a little high or, or go deep. There might be a double opportunity yeah. if uh, Team Rock wishes to, to take that on. Try and make them even. They're talking about making them even for that reason. So sweepers will put that top eight at the end there. Line's good. It's more than I wanted. Hold it a bit. Hold it a bit. Easy. Line's good. Gonna curl hard. Easy. Really cur curling across that really center. Curling. Really curling. She's thrown. Really curling. Easy. Even. Can you go deep? Right back here. Hard, hard, hard. Easy. There, there. Easy, easy, easy. Well, this will make it interesting now. Oh. Slipping back that far. If uh, the double's there, it's risky though. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to play for one. It's a good call. Like that? Like easy? I don't know. I don't okay. Yeah, I think Kelsey Rock is just <laughs> playing like the odds here. The chances of her making a, a thin double like that like, hey, might just be too much yeah, risk to give up control that. of the game here <laughs> now. So. Yeah, that's not, if you had to make it to win a game, really maybe a, you, you do that. But in the fourth yeah. end, yeah. take your single point and, and the lead and, and move on. I think it's just on that release. So, yeah, trust the set. Yeah. yeah. Is the release okay on that one? Or could I it's just here. Use a little more? Yeah, a little bit more. But slide with the hair is not as well. So. Okay. Yeah, make sure I'm lined up properly and drive out there. <laughs> oh. All right, oh. looking for the nose hit for one here Clean. for Team Rock. Clean. Yep. Cleaning it Love in, it. that's always yep. a good sign. Looks pretty Let's good. Go. Very well executed. Ten, six. Team Rock taking the single point into the fifth. They lead two points to one. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts.
proudly pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that's We're back here in Wetaskiwin, in Alberta. 2023 Sentinel Storage, Alberta Scotty's Term of Hearts. Fifth end here, Team Hunkin has the hammer, throwing the red stones, with Team Rock throwing the yellow stones. Nice release. Like Great turnout this morning, Jason. We just had another school group uh, come in and watch some of the curling. Another 100 kids, it looks like. Lots of lots of people in the ice lounge, and, and the local sponsorship has been great. A lot of support here. Um, some of the companies that have, have been generous to support this event this week are Diamond Sponsors, Man Luck Industries, Watasquin Co-op Agro, Hoffman's Horse Products. Uh, platinum sponsor, Halfway, City of Wetaskiwin and Ace Manufacturing. Halfway, and our gold Lots sponsor of, of uh, G3 Canada and Canterra Seeds. Uh, we've Come got a good. long list Come of um, smaller local sponsors as well. Go so hard, super appreciate it, all the support uh, from the local drag community. It, drag it, drag it. And don't hard, forget to get hard, your 50-50 tickets. We're going to have some great pots good, during the week. Okay. And so just like straight some great on prizes on. to you be think won. add a couple of feet for this rock or no? Okay. Thanks, Ted. And uh, obviously, an event like this can't happen yeah. without local sponsorship. Yeah. And the venue here in Wetaskiwin yeah. is spectacular with the on ice lounge, as you can see behind the action there. Fans can come out, check out the action, and get right up and close with the curlers. Bit of an ad. Yeah, great venue they have here. Should be a busy weekend. Get your tickets now because uh, ticket sales are going pretty good. All right, picking it up. Here we are, fifth end. 2-1 for Rock. Team Hunkin with the hammer this end. Center okay. guard went up uh, by Team here. Rock, a corner guard by Hunkin. Good sweep. <laughs> Rock trying around the center, and and I like this move from, from Jesse. She's getting aggressive here. She's going to use that corner guard that they threw up and try and get one buried around that and get Team Rock chasing them. Yes, a very, very nice setup there from Zoe Cinnamon. <laughs> Uh, I know she uh, she typically line. doesn't play Start on this team, it. Team Rock. She typically would play on Team Grey Withers Start out of the Savile Sports line. Center. But two uh, or three of their members are currently in action in Lake Placid, New York at the uh, Winter University ad representing Canada. So she was a bit of a free agent for this and Team Rock saw a need for another player with Rochelle being out for this morning. And picked her up. She's been playing yeah. great. Yeah, great addition to the team, definitely. Yes. Just team Rock just discussing which which turn to use and best way to get around that uh, center guard and that one top top twelve. It's a little down. Oh, a little light. Little down. Top eight. Yeah, like, top eight. Yeah, two good ones here, Becky. Top 12. Top eight. Turn this around a bit. Top, top eight. eight. Top 12. Top 12. Top 12. Oh, Touch light on that draw. Kind of queued up the double there for yeah, uh, Team Hunkin. No hit double. I just don't have all. Play Still run. noticing that side of the sheet, just a touch yep. lower. Uh, notice that. Like it, you got it. Straight up here. Yeah, did In come the down third end, when they're playing those draws that way, the side closer to the board seems to just be a bit quicker. Really want to be heavy there, but... yeah. And a Whoa. bullet here from Whoa. Becca Hebert. Throwing that Whoa. center right. Whoa. Oh, oh, great shot. shot. Hard, 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 hard. Go, Jesse. Go, 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 go. That's fantastic. Shot. Run back double from Becca Heber just to clear up the play. Fantastic. It's forcing Kelsey right into uh, a bail shot of her own. 
Yeah, double P on the corners. Might, might get a roll Very for nice. the a center guard on this. Good throw. It looked like it was backing up yeah, the whole way. And then a good set. set. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bad. You know, not bad. They bit, kind of missed it on the wrong side. It still leaves a very long yeah, corner, but Jesse's going to try and utilize yeah. that and get one around there. Give it a nice release. That works. Exactly. <laughs> Tight. Tight. Gotta go. Gotta go. Line's good. Line's good. Got room. 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 Hard finish. Hard finish. Those are on this pretty hard. Trying to carve this go, in there. Go, 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 really go, go. Hard. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Yeah, that's a good sweep. Good shot. 15-6. 15-6, wow. Looks like they tucked a piece around. Still accessible for Danielle Schmiemann. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, they could definitely chase sure, this and we knew that one would go. Yeah. get this out of the rings and, and roll maybe, maybe towards the right side of the eight foot kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, like starting it there I think is good and we can always finish it in there like go go. Yeah. Just wicks off the guard. Yeah, a bit of an unforced error there. Gonna stick around in the rings. Advantage, Hunkin. Definitely. 11! Yeah, just a combination of just misses. Just that first one on Dana's and that one of Danielle's. So that's up the deuce opportunity. Hit here, a little, little roll Eleven. to the side. Yeah. Team Rock now is going to really have to work for that force. Uh, it's it's going to take some effort for them to either roll one of these rocks closer to the other just to set up a double with one of Kelsey's. But I, I like this call, yes, hitting this one, roll, roll in front of it. Yeah. Even you could almost you. roll right on top of it would be a good shot. It's steeper, yeah. Whenever there are oh, two gotcha. rocks and okay. I just didn't love leaving it right back. in the rings, okay, you'd like to hit the one that's okay. closest to the wings. Yeah. It's pretty hard to leave separation from the rock on the center line. Exactly. Troopers are on this one again. Oh, looks a little better. Oh, this is a great oh, shot. Beautiful shot. Yeah, is that any good? Wow. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Holy. Really good shot. Cool. No. Stay right on the nose and tap it a foot. Yeah, nice call, Ted. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> That's right. You can try to play it quiet. Yeah, I don't mind that. Right on the nose. Just unlock it. Yeah, just unlock it. Okay. Back eight, back 12. Yeah, I'm just going to throw back eight then. Because these will bounce. And I think really like this call. Just push that, that, that back Jesse. red one into the eight foot and, and stay on the angle of the yellow. And, and you're looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Team team Honkin could very well just blast these rocks out and sense this as a good opportunity for a blank. But I think they still see the value in scoring two points and at yeah. least trying for that. Hard! Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Uh, looks a little light, maybe. Just looks like T line almost. Just a little light on the weight there. That's they had the right line. 
Sorry, Still forcing Team Rock to deal with that rock, though. Yeah, I think uh, I really like the hit and roll on top, and and then Hunkin will have to be bailing again. We'll probably see a, a POA shot down there. Mm -hmm. Even if she rolls this one too far, just making sure it doesn't leave the the rock on the the right side of the sheet, as you see on the the monitor there, leaving a double back. Danielle and Kelsey are having a bit of a conversation just before the hog line. Yeah, just getting everyone on the same page and where exactly they want to roll this to. This team has really good communication. They all seem to be on the same page and they know exactly what's going on. Makes a big difference, especially when the pressure's on and, and you got to make those shots and those rolls uh, on point. Just leaves that rock there. A bit of a mistake. Yeah, they won the roll that right on top of the yellow. O opportunity now for Unkin to make the double actually and, and sit two red ones in the rings. Tough double. We've got to just thin that that yellow one that's on the button. Definitely an opportunity there for at least Team Hunkin to sit two points in the house. Yeah, definitely. Just a just a hair off the nose will do it. Either way, with Kelsey's last there, if she had have rolled one way, it would have been pretty good right in front. And, or if she rolled the other way, she would have made contact and made the double. Exactly. Just got, kind of got caught in between there. tied out of her hand and definitely curls on that center line so yes big opportunity yeah. for team rock now uh, yeah. a good guard here and it's going to ah. be very difficult for team hunkin to score in, like ideally like top 12 really isn't bad once you can't come around or anything you guys like top 12 Yeah, like throw that. one top 12 tight to the rings yeah make uh got it. make jesse throw that out turn draw to the button most likely for her one tough shot On this uh, left-hand side of the sheet here, it's been a touch slower, so we'll see how they manage this rock. Looking for this to uh, be a top 12 on the center line. Line's nice! It's Danielle Schneeman really and Dana Ferguson on the Ruby sweep. Right now. up a few Good feet job. short Good there uh definitely yeah. definitely left jesse the out turn so, draw for yeah, one still a pretty good result though got the line right it's gonna take a a pretty great shot for one i don't think there's any shot for two no i don't don't see anything for two there but uh no that's a really good spot 
even if, if it yeah, that's a good good spot that center guard ended up. And it's a tough shot for Jesse. It sounded like Zoe Cinnamon liked it. So this is this is one of this would be her third pressure shot of the game, I would say. You know, a couple of draws against three. This one being probably her toughest. Yeah, yeah, she's had to, had to make some big shots so far this game. It's a big one too. Uh, you miss this, and you know, Rock gets that two-point lead, and and now you're really chasing. You got to start pressing for that deuce in the right away as soon as you can get it back. So it's a big shot, very big shot. Yeah, and just taking some confidence into the break, making a a nice last one. It's always helpful. took off on her. Yeah. That's a steal of one for Team Rock. Taking the lead, uh, two point lead into the break. Three to one for Team Rock okay, over Team Hunkin. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. The Roaring Game. We all love it, but sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. Go get stuck in your curling club this year. Learn the game inside and out. Play for your favorite country and take the curling world by storm. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts.
So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. And we're back here in Wetasco in Alberta. After five ends of play, Team Rock currently holds a two-point lead over Team Hunkin. Thus far, uh, it started rather defensive with, uh, with a blank end and a rather open second end. Uh, a couple of unforced errors uh, with a, a burnt stone and a, a pick in the, the second and the third led to a flip of the hammer. And uh, Team Rock scoring her one point with a nose hit in the fourth and the, and a steal in the fifth leaves her in uh, in control of this game heading into the second half Ted uh, I'll pass it off to you with a bit of an update on uh, the rest of the action here in Wetaskiwin yeah so after five ends on sheet A we've got uh, team Sturmy up 7-1 on Stixma Sturmy had a scored five in the second end which Help that, and then another steal of two in, in in the fourth. So on sheet B, uh, Richards and Skrillex. Skrillex is up 2-1. And on sheet C, Scheidegger and Parent is tied at 2-2. And that's been a great game. Lots of rocks in, in play on that game so far. So here we are uh, into the sixth end now. Yeah, it's, it'll, it's just very interesting to see the contrast. You know, some of these teams, it's their first experience here at the Alberta Scotties. And then you have teams like Team Scheidegger, Team Skrillic, Team Sturmate, teams that have been here once or twice or, or more than that before. And uh, to see just how they open the week and how their strategies are different. Some of them want to take uh, take it right to the other team and some kind of want to feel it out first. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's great to see the younger teams uh, playing in this Provincials this year, getting that experience. I can remember my first Provincials. Uh, one of the first ones in our first game was against Randy Furby. And uh, we were definitely shell-shocked playing that game. It was pretty neat to play against those guys uh, at that age. So. Great for the younger Little the younger women's teams standing. coming up through the ranks to uh, get to the provincials and there get this go. experience and hopefully they can have a, a great week. Mm -hmm. and, and with uh, the field being you know fairly intimate with only eight teams, they get to play everyone else. Uh, Team Richards especially, they have a couple of players that are under the age of 19, I believe. So uh, I think the entire team is still eligible for the under 20 category, and they're here at the women's provincials. And Team Parent as well. They're yeah. just fresh out of the U20 category. It's really yeah. cool to see. Awesome, awesome to see those young teams here. So here on the sixth end, we saw Team Rock throw one top top four there and hunk and go with the corner yep, guard center guard by team rock and we're going to see uh, jesse again like should last end going to utilize that corner guard and try and get one around there early you, you think with that rock slipping a little bit deep into the rings it would allow team hunkin to make a play on those two rocks in the four or in the on the center line uh, if that rock had have stayed outside of the rings uh, team rock could have utilized the no tick zone uh, which is new for this season uh, the no tick zone being uh, if the rock is in the free guard zone with those first five stones, touching the center line at all, uh, it can't be moved off of the center line. So if, it, if it does, that rock would then be replaced, put back, and the, the rock that was thrown would be removed from play. So it's interesting. Maybe we'll see how this will impact the, the game, especially in the later ends where ticks might, be, might have been more likely. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see when you get down, you know, the 8th, ninth, especially the 10th yeah, end, yeah, uh, that quick. tick option isn't isn't there anymore. So teams will have to have a, a bit of a different strategy, and I think that's just going to promote a lot more rocks yeah. going around those center guards. Nice mm -hmm. I know when I was competing in the BC Provincials, we saw quite a bit more steals in the extra end because of this. You know, teams not being able to just go on autopilot, throw the ticks, and peel out. Um, the team without the hammer definitely had more of a chance. 
Okay. And a big congratulations to Jason for winning the uh, BC Provincials. Off to the Briar. That's in first week of March. This year. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, Ted. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. super cool. Uh, first Purple Heart, right? Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. That's all, really all four of us. Uh, it was our first nice. Purple Heart, and uh, with with uh, some struggles, we had a, we had some team <laughs> illness, and we were able to play one of our games with three players. But uh, very very happy to come out on the on, on top and. Head out to London for the Briar. Yeah, that's awesome. That'll be a great experience for you guys, and you guys will do well. T uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Team Gauthier. Gauthier. Yeah. Gauthier. Yeah. Yeah. I said it wrong. Okay. Yeah. So everybody yeah. watch out for those guys at the Briar in March. Yeah, although I am here, you know, curling yeah. Alberta pride, yeah. I will be putting on Team BC colors for that event. Great shot there, the double peel. Open things up a bit. Nice shot. Team Rock's going to play this run back and chase that one that's underneath. With the lead, we'll, we'll see, you know, that's Kelsey can awesome now pick nice. and choose her spots when she wants to be aggressive yeah, and, and when she wants to be defensive. So. I, but I think we'll see Hunkin continue just to be aggressive until she gets that yeah. two points back. A bit of an undercurl there. Good, Sam. It is pretty early. Team Hunkin will look to replace really the corner. We can always finish it at the end. It'll be a matter of timing as to when they look to address the rock in the forefoot. Just getting caught on the edges. That's okay. The edges just run a little better. Wow. I'm just a little wide. These are like the not Halfway tight! Hard early! Tight! Hard early! Tight! Tight! Really tight! Okay, Walt! Just tight! Walt! Really tight! Really tight! Walt! No! 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 Needs to sit! Needs to sit! We're gonna sit! Good spot! Good throw! Good throw! That's a good corner guard there and force Kelsey to play the same run back. I think if the scoreboard were a bit different and Team Rock were maybe forced to uh, play a little more aggressively for the force, we might actually have seen another center guard, center guard come up, or even later in the end, they might have elected to freeze that rock in the back. But I think I like the call for now. Yeah, that's a good call right now. Oh, great shot. I've seen one or two of those in my day with Danielle Schmiemann playing mixed doubles. Yeah, you guys have a good uh, mixed doubles record there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy to to have success when you have Danielle throwing the last rocks. Yeah, I've been I've been known to piggyback on some of her well executed play over the years. Everybody has a role on the team, right? Yeah, I'll sweep. <laughs> Well, okay, still a corner guard up there for Jesse, so we'll see if they can get one around that. Easy, easy. Only if you're, only if you're sticking around. If, yeah, okay, go then. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, 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 a little more, a little more, a little more. Good, nice judge. 14-6. Obviously, more important for that rock to be buried than for it to be in the right or in the right depth. So they elected to try to take that rock back to tuck a piece. It. Forces Danielle to at least yeah. look at that corner guard, reduce the weight a little bit. Yeah, should should be able to get get at this rock the way it curls. So would expect her to make this one. Okay. Okay. With this being the sixth end. Um, I think Team Hunkin is more likely to be okay with a single point. Um, so, yeah. if this rock sticks around, I, I would expect Team Hunkin to continue to try to, to do their best to get behind the corner guard rather than playing double takeouts. Great throw. But I'm sure we'll see. Find out here. Good call. Hey, one more here. That's really nice. We can also play this now. I, I think I like the hit and roll. Yeah, let's be aggressive on the roll. Okay. 
we have to make the double outside Ten. too, but make the roll here. Tight out of her hand there and just caught that curl on the center line. Jam that one yeah, in the like back. That. So Kelsey will play the nose hit on this. Okay. And then, uh, Jesse will have to decide okay. if you got it. she still wants okay. to go for two or or try and uh, make a double here. Okay. I think, yeah, just placement of the roll is pretty important. I think here you would love to make sure that she couldn't double the rocks out now and stick in the rings. So yeah, a nose hit here would be ideal or just actually a, a little roll away from center, a touch would would when hurt to separate those rocks a bit more yeah a roll out however allows team hunkin to even draw around the corner guard again yeah i yeah, gotta stick around on this one So Jesse's looking like she's going to play the freeze here. On yeah, there. Right to it. This would yeah, have sorry. given Jesse yeah, the opportunity to blank out the end. Yeah, centerline does run a uh, little bit. Ted, why do you think she's electing to, to play yeah. the freeze? Well, she wants to score right now. Um, down two, she's got the hammer in even ends if you keep trading hammers. So she's you know, got hammer in six, here. eight, and ten. So she's got three hammers to two. So she's going to keep trying to score every time she has the hammer. Maybe get a force and then a deuce. Um, Speed still but holding up. I, I like this call. Be aggressive. Um, try and get you two points. If she makes a good freeze and, and Kelsey blasts everything on the house, then, then they can have a quick team conversation to decide what they want to do, if they want to blank or, or draw for one kind of thing. But she definitely needs a deuce. you got to do everything you can to try and score that two points. Line's good. Got room. Line's good. Room. room. Lots of room. Got a curl. Line's good. Got a curl. Has to curl. Has to curl. Yeah, drag it. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. Just Get comes up forward. light. Good treat, guys. 15-4, so uh, a okay, little different than it. the second end, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that yeah, uh, yeah, second end, the draw that went back eight for it was 15-1 without any sweeping. So... Hung out there for a bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> just hanging out there, as you can hear her say, so sweepers couldn't really help that along at all. Mm -hmm. All right, no sit here for, for Kelsey would be a pretty good result. It would make a double and a blank very tough. Yeah, it's just really important to stick around here. Exactly, yeah. Well, 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 Clean. Oh, clean. Here, clean. Zoe oh, likes it. Danielle, Danielle. And a, a great carve over by Danielle. Sits two in the house there. Leaving Team Hunkin, nothing but a chance for one. Yep, she's gonna draw for her one here. And Good go throw. For the, Sorry, I kind of left the steal the next end now. <laughs> yeah. T line. Something similar here. Line's good. Same line. 
gonna say that Same one. Was, was Little tighter line. <laughs> tighter pass. Sweeper T. Curling now. Sweeper's drawing this one Side right button. now. No backing yet. Might have overswept this one a touch. No backing. Ooh, just. I don't, I don't know if it'd hang on. I don't know if it'd hang on. One yellow. Yeah, one yellow. Okay. And the confirmation from Kristen Streifel. It's another steal for Team Rock. No. Taking a three point lead. One four to one, heading into the seventh end of play. Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Yeah. And we're back here in the seventh end of play. Team Rock with a steal of one after a heavy Team Hunkin draw. Uh, they they carry a three to one lead, throwing the yellow stones, throwing first this end with Team Hunkin throwing the red stones, carrying the last rock. A couple of thank yous to uh, a few extra sponsors here. Obviously, you can see a lot of sponsorship in the ice here. We've had some great uh, local through. support, but also uh, on the national side with Scotty's Kruger products. Okay. Um, original 16. Uh, we've got the original 16 ice yeah, lounge like going. A few people that, having so. some beverages back there. Okay. Uh, Best Why Western. Uh, been a long Half time way, yeah. partner of Curling, Alberta. Halfway. Boston Pizza, uh, <laughs> sponsor of the men's provincial championship. Also uh, involved with the women's now as well. And uh, Bel Air Direct. Go, 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 go. Um, if you phone up Bel Air Direct or online and tell them you're with Curling, Alberta, I believe there's uh, a discount okay. to be had. So you might want to check that out. Also, our 50-50s, don't forget to uh, go online, curlingalberta.ca, get your 50-50 tickets. Um, pot's growing as we speak, so check that ticket. out, and yeah. hopefully you can win, win a big pot. Yeah, I think the jackpot currently is almost $1,000. Uh, the I think uh, the draws are daily at 10 p.m., so uh, this draw, next draw, and shortly after the, the second draw of the day, we will draw, and uh, we'll have one lucky winner of the 50-50. So get your tickets at curlingalberta.ca slash 50-50. Shoot. So a couple rocks in the rings for, uh, for Team Rock, and now we're gonna see Team Hunkin really get aggressive here. They really got to score two points and try and get one oh, around shoot. this uh, this corner guard here and create yeah. some offense. Now I just said it, I think it ran like just so that much nicer. Yeah, I think yeah, it line. A bit high. Top 12. Not uh, it's, it's gone, it's gone. You see some teams here in this situation would just throw two corner guards. Uh, Team Hunkin seems to be sticking to their strategy of throwing one and then going around it. Yeah, this rock caught something on the slide Did path. And I, she didn't think she threw it well. I think off to the boards there. They won't be able to use that rock at all, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if uh, if that was my teammate, I would have been cleaning the path that after it? that rock, whether it would picked or it didn't pick, just to ensure that she still throws the rock well and shows it with confidence in the next time. Yeah. 
lots of height. We're all there, Kelsey. Almost have 12. Tight. Team Rock looking to throw the tight guard here on those two in the rings. Someone's going to slide in to just touch the eight foot. Three into the rings, cues up the, looks like a triple takeout, but. Yeah, it's def there's definitely a double there for sure. <laughs> yeah. Team Hunkin's gonna go around that corner, try and get one buried. Good sweep there by the front end. Couldn't quite get that buried, so uh, Team Rock will be able to chase that and, and get that out of the rings. It got by the guard by quite a fair margin there. Easy. So uh, nice to see the late finish. Uh, but there has you just been it. a bit of a common theme, just just not quite getting the, the curl on some and having to finish them and leaving them exposed. Just slightly over icing, I think, right now on the inside out path. Not quite taken off like it usually does. Okay. Yeah. He's good. So this one's curling. They have Zoe Cinnamon on it. Oh, and great sweep. Ooh. A lot of rocks in the forefoot now. Might have to jiggle those around a bit and try and create some offense with those rocks. Yeah, with that one sticking around in the back of the house, I'm not entirely sure if that does Team Rock any favors, but um, it at least gives them another yellow to look at. Yeah, definitely. I think you're like 11 though, like it was, yeah, I didn't think I was down, but I was kind of like somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, really hard. On this one early, whoa, on that whoa, center line, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's it's taken off. Okay. Makes contact with all four, getting rid of two, and rolling to the other side. This this yeah. uh, this side seems to be curling a little bit more towards that wall as they seem to be sweeping more on that side at least. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> nice shot from Danielle. Three yellows spread out there, pretty good. So. Back four, back eight. I don't mind this call by Jesse trying to create some offense with those rocks. Jesse, I'm not Use that this. Uh, what do you center like? line one as a guard. Kristen's not loving this though. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, do you ever like tapping that one? I think it's a good time for a bit of a discussion here. Yeah, this is an important point of the end here. You gotta figure out a way how you're gonna create your offense for the rest of the way. We might see uh, a potential for a timeout being called to bring out Coach Can Leslie like McEwen. We could. Try and set or up this. a wall. Uh, that's useless. There's no point in hitting that one. That one's still out of it. Yeah, my only other thought was this. Yeah, I just, I don't wanna. It's too crazy here. Do you like the tap? Play tap. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay. Move it around a bit. Back eight. Options. So they have elected for the tap. Yeah, tap is back eight. There's a few options. I kind of liked uh, Jesse's thought process. Uh, you, you can go around that corner, or, or you could draw around the center one. Well, the tap's not bad, but um, yeah. you're going to tap that back rings. They have an easy okay, open hit. Eight. And then what do you do? So... 
you know, drawing around that one, they got to play a run back. They have a higher chance of missing that. And then you draw a runner on the corner, and now you've got some offense kind of going. So we'll see how this plays out for them. They're, they're going to go with the tap, and we'll find out. Yeah, I agree. It seems like they're uh, playing the more difficult oh, shot of, of the yeah, options yeah, 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 yeah. and leaving the potential for a uh, less difficult shot Whoa. for the opposition. Exactly. So, not too sure Whoa. about this one. Whoa. For the opposition. Exactly. So, not too Whoa. sure about this one. Yep, yep. Hard for the roll. Hard roll, hard roll, hard. Go, 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 go. Playing go, the go, audible go, here, go, trying go, to get the roll. Go, 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 go. That's actually a pretty good result. Great line call by Jesse. Good uh, good audible there to, to get that roll over. Here's as though the red is sitting third yeah. shot. Yes, you got it. Yeah, they should see enough to be able to once again top that one out of the rings. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right now, if he makes it off that, I feel like we have to know that green trying to fit right on top. Well, hot. It's good. Well, well, well. Same thing. So it was hard on the carve here. Really willing this rock to curl. Oh, they're gonna miss this one. Shoot. Just Again, just it just looks like they're over icing everything. Just a bit on the inside out turns, or they're, they're not quite going to the wings um, as aggressively as they're th as they're thinking. Right on the nose here. Good opportunity 11. for Hunk in here to uh, oh, try and close. generate some offense. Eleven. If they can just bonk this one right in the nose, now it makes both red rocks pretty difficult to remove. Yeah, it does. Big shot here. Yeah. Jesse Hunk and unhappy with the clean. Oh! Whoa! Becca! Becca! Try. Okay. Yeah, that'll yeah, work. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Just you got to keep those rocks around, right? Keep those red rocks ah. in play, and they're yeah, gonna keep tracing sweet. your reds. So. Yeah, I think at like this point, Kelsey's I mean, almost forced yeah. to running the yellow into the red, yeah. flopping closer yeah, to the yellow and leaving a double. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of how I see Team Hunk like, generating a deuce. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, it's definitely decision making time. I guess they can choose to hit the half open stone on the what you see in the left side of the sheet. I think at this point you just play the easiest yeah. shot there is, mm -hmm. and really it's just a nose hit on the yellow or, or a touch on the center line side and roll your shoot hey, over I like it. instead of right. taking on that that half open rock. Okay, if they just go nose nose, then we just hit and flop even nose. Flop the touch. Yeah. Nose and even nose if she nose. hits it right on the nose, it looks like she might not be second shot, so she'll have to at least roll a yeah, she's got to get her of a shooter stone, rolling like that. If it's there, I don't know if it'll be there, but... You might have to like hit and flop on top or hit mm -hmm. hit and flop on top even another The Although dynamic in the house between yeah, Zoe Cinnamon and Kelsey Rock seems to be fairly yeah. seamless actually. Just listening in. It uh it's a definitely a new thing for Kelsey having Zoe there, but the team decided they would want to have their two experienced players sweeping. Yeah, they're they're they've yeah. done well to make the adjustment. Yeah. They're all playing yeah. playing pretty good today, so. Yeah, that's a great Take shot. That. Oh, great that. results. Yep. It's going to leave the double there for Jesse to sit two, but uh, she's got to make it. Hi. So. Sorry. Just in here. Hey. Really nice. Yeah. Make the double. Hard to make the double. It and is. Stick. It's tough, eh, hey, to make yeah. that double and stick, yeah. You could play it this way. I think we still have to try and make it, but yeah, it's pretty tough too. I think you have to roll yeah, towards the corner guard can't really hit on to, the to no, sit at least for a second shot. Any roll to towards the boards yeah, leaves the yellow there, rock I, shot. If, even if we don't make the double and just kind of roll to here and sit right there, we're second and third. Yeah, that's He's got to be pretty right, careful. Right. I don't mind that. That's almost the shot then. I, I think, think so. Yeah. Just the 10. Okay. Okay, so 
slightly high. Just, yeah, just a hair off Miller's. It's well thought out. You, you heard Jess, or you heard Kristen say just a ten. So it's I think it's really important for Jesse here to to get the weight right. Uh, as it, it seems to be pretty weight sensitive out here. So ten here. Just a 10, oh, trying to just make the double, make nose. it go away, and just a hair off nose. Kind of stuff, stuff. Yeah. Sit, uh, sit second and third. with Dana Demers. Hard, hard, hard. Trying the plan B. Another audible. Good Another call. great line call. Yeah. That's good pretty ball. good. Does the same trick. Kelsey's got to yeah, be careful now. Okay, I like it. Yeah, she got it. She's going to play the hit and roll good and uh, try yeah. to yeah. two. Probably yeah. going to leave Jesse some sort of double <laughs> for, for two. So yeah, I think if you're Kelsey, you want to roll all the way over. Try to space out those yellow rocks as much as you can. Obviously, trying to still still remain second shot. Yeah, if she could roll over to the to the T line on the other side of the house would be ideal. Yeah, oftentimes, you know, if you're if you're playing in your in your leagues, you just want to sit first and second. Uh, as early as you can, but you know, uh, Team Hunt can remain patient this end, and this might actually turn out to work out for them, generating two. Clean! Clean! Well, Danielle! It's really close. Let him roll. It's really close. Really good. Oh, that's pretty that's nice. It's a pretty good shot. Nine, that's six. a tough double. Tough double to stick that shooter. You can make this with a 10. Pretty yeah, good roll from Kelsey around. there. Yeah, it, it oh, it's likely okay. still there for two, tough. but uh, they're gonna have to be more precise. Yep, yeah, exactly. I think three quarters is pretty close. It'll come up a little bit with Eight. a ten. Yep, you got it. I was gonna say like even like two inches, but honestly the double's already hard. Like she's gonna be rolling pretty Great. big. Ten. Here. It's a hair more too, I think. Yeah. yeah. Two thirds. So this will be Jesse Hunkins' last rock in the seventh end. A double attempt for two. Becca on it right out of her hand. Oh, caught that curl on the center line again. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And she just misses contact with yeah. that back yellow. One Steal yellow. of one for Team Rock. Uh, five to one lead heading into the eighth end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. 
curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. And we're back here in Wetaskiwin at the co-op at co-op place. Uh, Team Rock has a commanding five to one lead. Just slowly getting steals and accumulation of steals to open up this four point lead. They continue to throw first with Hunkin continuing to hold the last rock here in the eighth tight. end. I was just tight slide. Attempting to throw the corner guard. Gotta go to be tight a little bit. Yeah, right now for Team Where Hunkin, it's uh, all out offense. You got to score two this end, or you're They're in a there. real, really tough shape to try and win this game. So, uh, yeah, going to see a uh, fairly aggressive, well, a very aggressive end by Team Hunk, and I, I expect. Yeah, on the flip side, Team Rock likely just trying to remove as many rocks as they can as early as they can. An unforced error there from Lee Dana Demers as she slips into the rings, leaving. Zoe sent him the chance to, to remove it from play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I really liked your release there. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. The wind change release. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good, yeah, good rotation and extension. Great to see our sponsor box is uh, quite full this, this morning already. Um, all the local sponsors have uh, ice okay. access yeah. and, and tables right, right along sheet A. Um, quite a good turnout this morning, which is great. Uh, Manilak Industries, Watasco and Co-op Agro, Hoffman's Horse Products, ah, okay. That's what uh, City of Watascoan, the Ace Manufacturing Happy booth day. is quite full, which is good to see. Uh, G3 yeah. Canada full as well, and so is uh, Martin Deerline. Mine's good. And can Terra seeds, so great turnout this morning. Mine's good. Yeah, fantastic to see the local community come out early on a Wednesday really to, nice. to take in the curling awesome. action. There's some go. just absolute yeah. athletes out here. And, uh, you know, nice to see Alberta's oh, best yeah. here curling for the chance to represent yeah. Alberta at the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts in Kamloops, B.C. Nice throw. Yeah. There it is. There it is. One more guard, probably, and then it's a little hot. Attack. It's top eight. Top, top eight. We're there. Top. Yeah, we are. T line. Hi. T line. Back four. Yeah. Back, Back four. Back eight. Oh. oh. Shoot. Oh, another one just looks That's like a it. Good one. Wow. Grabbed on something right around the Manlock logo there. Sometimes that's, those little hairs get hidden in the. Yeah, in the blue paint. that's three uh, three pick rocks we've seen this game. Yeah, that was coming in with some speed too. They were yeah. saying back four, and uh, it came to an abrupt halt there, just uh, in the halfway guard zone. So, gives Team Hunk an opportunity to come right around it. Yeah, we've seen some unforced errors or un unlucky uh, pick rocks from Hunk Team Hunkin, and now uh, Team Rock gets one. So I think that's the curling gods just evening the score. E even it out. That's yeah. right. Full, yeah. Full eight. Yeah. Full four. Dana's rock. Yeah, Dana. Go a little bit. Yep. 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 Bury it. Bury it. Bury it. Bury it. So as we approach the eighth end here, uh, girl. seems like the ice is holding up very very well uh speed of the ice seems to be consistently around that 15 seconds like you had said uh in the opening and hasn't changed so yeah the, cur the, the curls curve. there there's a few sp tricky spots but uh in general you know as a curler when you're out there you just want to know that you can draw the button when you have to and and you definitely can do that on this ice Danielle Schwimmen is hard on the brush here. Yep, hard. Trying to get it by the guard. All right, the solid hack. It does get by. 
and throw. removes that stone from play. It's a good shot. Good shot from yeah. Dana Ferguson. Danielle knew she was going to be sweeping a little more in the morning draws, so she went out and made sure she bought herself a pair, uh, herself a pair of football gloves yesterday uh, to add that extra grip on the broom. Some so. sticky gloves. Yeah, nice Same to see way. that those are working well. Same way. <laughs> Okay, got room. Room. Same weight. Whoa, then. T line. T line. Whoa, then. Yeah. Yeah, Dane. Easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, Full T. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. Looks to be in almost the same spot. Curled a little more. Touch more buried, so see what they elect to do here. Play the run back, it looks like. Yeah, I think objective number one is just to make sure that this guard is out of play. And uh, bonus if you can get the one in the house. But there's a couple ways you can make it. If you're a touch on the high side, you could come off your own yellow and, and still get at that red. Or, nice um, throw. Just don't want to leave that center guard up. Dana quick to jump on this one. They just miss, and they do leave the guard still in play. So, uh, definitely a bit of an opportunity here for Team Hunkin now opening up I the two corner guards. Yeah, yeah they got to stack a few shots in a row here and uh, and uh, try and put some pressure on so. on Team Rock and, and generate a deuce. Back and little flop, pretty good. Yeah, just like you said, if they if they're back able to eight. leave that yellow back around, eight. you know, Rock's your friend oh, at this point. Draw. Yeah, that's right. I don't mind straight draw. Yeah, we can place it a bit better. And the lead here? sticking to some of our themes, you know, trying to make the easier shot of the two. I think mean, the tap and roll, that might have been a better result, but less likely to be made, I would say. So yeah, the, this, this is a good draw. call. Yeah. yeah. Use the rocks okay, when you have them, and that corner Close guard the being left there Lots by Danielle. Line. Pretty important to take advantage of that. Lots of lines. Room. Take close. Whoa, Becca, Becca. Looks a little heavy here. Probably tapping really that hard. yellow a bit. Really hard, really hard, really hard. Okay, 14-7. All right, uh, a plan not, B. Yeah, not a terrible result. Uh, mm. You know, two rocks that are in play and double is there, but it's tough double. Mm -hmm. Team Hunkin has been making some pretty good line calls, I would say, you know, when the, the shot isn't being, or isn't, it doesn't have quite the right weight, or the line is just a no, little bit off. They're quick to transition, and yeah. yeah, yeah. Jesse's done a really good job with that this game. It's definitely not easy to yeah, to make that call and commit to it. Have no line on line. So yeah, good on her. Yeah. This one's floating a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You're able to remove one, but not two. So, all right. another bit of a break for Team Hunkin. Yep, yep, kept that like red that rock throw, around. And I did, I gave you less ice here. Okay. Okay, line's good. We have no. uh, a couple no of ex teammates actually in this game as Kristen Streifel and Danielle Schmiemann both sweet represented team. Canada at the Line's 2019 great, Winter team. Universiade in Krasnyarsk, Russia. Yep, yep. So, some friendly yep. competition yep. here between her and Danielle, line, and line, line, line. as well as Becca and Danielle okay. curling with Kelsey Rock. 15. That was a good shot right there. Tap to back, sitting two. Yes, Decision time good. for uh, for Kelsey and how she wants to play this. It's a couple different options, but with a four-point lead here, you would expect her to want to hit something that's open. But you know, if she decides to do that, now she's going to have to deal with two buried stones. Yeah, Yeah, the thing with hitting this one, even if you hit it on the nose and Jesse freezes to the red one that was just thrown. Like uh, it's three in play for Jesse, so you got to be you got to be careful here, if you're uh, if you're Kelsey. We're just, we just weren't even close. Yeah, for line. Yeah. I think I'd be tempted to take a take a run at the the rock that's partially buried. Um, just 
thinking it through, you uh, you you're, you always will be able to hit this open rock with Kelsey's second. And I kind of agree. Uh, there's a skinny double there if you if you happen to you know the rock happens to run on you, but uh, you know you hit half of that red one and make the double off the yellow, and uh, Kelsey's not scoring or Jesse's not scoring any more than two. So we'll see how this one plays out though. I think to your point, they'd rather do that uh, than more. stick around really and leave more rocks for Jesse to run into. So yeah, really. yeah, I think that was a good really result, good. honestly, for Kelsey. So. Yep, that was. Nosing that one in the uh, in the back there wasn't going to help them. It would have helped uh, Jesse's team. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like you said, opportunity to sit two rocks and both buried. Pretty tough to be removed if she puts this one in the right place. Yep. Pretty right, crucial shot. If, if she's a little off one way or another, though, there may be a chance to get rid of both. So, yeah, got to be pretty precise with this one at the end and, and put it in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Got to get to, you know, you got to get to three yeah, quarters of that red one. If you get to the nose of it, it would be great. Um, but three quarters of it, I think, I'm not sure you could get rid of those red ones. Yeah, either one. Yeah. Kind of hanging curl. out on him here, running a bit straight. Looks a bit heavy. Curl. It's curl, coming curl, in curl. with what back four weight. Just hits about half a stone and pops open. Sure. Fairly, uh, you know, fairly easy double here for Kelsey now. Half to a quarter rock really makes it. Yeah, really not with Jesse. No, he was wanting to do with that stone. Just, just hung out there a little bit too much weight, perhaps. Yeah, just and just chopped off. However, they are still sitting two in the house, so. Yeah. Yep, Kelsey's four. still got to make her Kelsey's shot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're going to run the double. They're going to just off nose and try and flop on top of that red one. It's one of those things where, you know, if you are just a little off and you get... I didn't grab anything if it's you know, just, just it, washer, if you hit it too yeah. thick and you jam on that back yellow, there's yeah. a chance that it could stick around, I guess. Yeah. I think at this point you just go with uh, whatever, whatever you're seeing, right? Mm -hmm. um, just don't want to give up three. So hit something, make Jesse have a tough shot for one. This would definitely leave her with the toughest shot if she makes this roll. Yeah. You know, sitting buried and on the forefoot. <laughs> it's a familiar yell out there on uh, sheet A. It's Heather oh. Nedowin, who's uh, playing Please. for Selena Sturme this weekend. Danielle. That's a pretty good pickup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. With uh, with Selena Sturme kind of in a bit of a in a, in a bit of a bind with uh, with Abby Marks playing at the Winter University ad. She needed to pick up a spare and. Um, she was able to find a pretty quality, pretty high quality one. Not too bad, yeah. Won this yeah. competition once or twice before. <laughs> well, that didn't didn't quite get the roll. There is an opportunity for two here for for Jesse. Got to get to the nose. Where the nose hit, and, and she should score two points. Yeah, just kind of caught, caught in between again. Right? If she was if she was on the high side, she might have been able to clip the red. That's right. Yeah. It's the only spot you can hit it.
our last rock here from Jesse Honken. Needs to get to the nose. Hard curl. Trying to help Hard. the curl. Oh, not just a jam. <laughs> Still just takes her single yeah. point. Just a, just a bit too much weight perhaps, but one red for Team Hunkin. She gets her single Hard. point. Uh, now five points to two with Kelsey Rock holding the last rock okay. heading into the ninth end. Good sweep. We all love it, but sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. Don't get stuck in your curling club this year. Learn the game inside and out. Play for your favorite country and take the curling world by storm. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. And we're back here in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. Co-op place here at the 2023 Sentinel Storage, Alberta Scotty's <laughs> Tournament of Hearts. Team Hunkin was finally able to get rid of the hammer going into the ninth end. They were able to uh, at least have an effort to score two. Just missed it. Picked up their single point. Uh, Team Rock yeah, has the hammer playing the ninth Have end tight. with the lead five Literally to two. Tight. I think we're all there. Stay on it. We're close. Tight. Gonna see a lot of rocks and play this we're end from uh, Team Hunkin. Halfway. Most Hi. likely two center Close guards, it. and then uh, you're going all out for Halfway. steals now. Got a sit. Pretty important that this one stays yes. on the center line to utilize that no tick zone. Oh, well, it's off center. Ooh, it's close. Oh. And it's close enough. Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're it's gonna have line. to. Potentially call out the straight line level, perhaps? Is that the official I term? The offi I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they might have to measure that one, but... I think they I agreed th that it is on the center on line. On the center line, yeah. Like top eight yeah. and some food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear that like one of the athletes is yeah. hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a big yeah, that was if that big rock was uh, was on the center or was off the center line, it would have given Team Rock the opportunity to tick that rock. Uh, this year, with the no tick zone being in effect for all competitions leading to the World Championships, it's uh, pretty important for that rock to stay on the center line. Yeah, gotta take advantage of that rule. Keep those rocks on the center line um, and utilize those later in the end. They are nice. attempting to just come right around, throw another center guard. Like you had said, they're just going to try to have as many rocks in play, utilize the free guard zone, making sure not, uh, Team Rock can't remove rocks. And uh, we'll see a lot of play around the center. Yeah, a little yeah, line. Halfway. Now, as we, as we approach good. the ninth end here, uh, I'm going to pass this How off to Ted, and he's going to give you all a score update Where? from across the sheets. Yeah, so on they sheet A out on. there, the Sturme Stixma lock game, it it's 8-2 uh, for Sturme. Uh, Richard Skrillick. Uh, Richard just scored a big three-ender. And they're up now 4-3, uh, playing uh, playing yeah. the eighth end. Parent and Scheidegger. Uh, yeah, Scheidegger scored a 4 and 6. Okay. Held them to 1 and scored another 2 and 8. So they're up 8-3, playing 9. And then here we are on our feature sheet, 5-2 for Rock, and should see lots of Rocks in play. Or less. Thanks, Ted. And I think we just had one final. It appears as though uh, handshakes on sheet A, Team Sturme with, uh, with, a, with a win over Team Stixma. Maybe just, huh. maybe just tight. They're gonna be blasting. 
Okay, T line. You got it. Okay, so uh, right, one rock slipping deep there of Zoe Cinnamons and giving We're Team Hunkin a chance to potentially draw around it or tap some rocks back to join it. Gotta go. Rocks are yeah, going to be like, Team Hunkin's friend at this point. Like the rocks, like the more rocks in play, the better. I don't know. Yeah, definitely for Team no, Hunkin. Straight, they want straight. all the rocks in play right now. Hard for okay. line! Line's That's really true, good! Yeah. Go drag true. it! Kay. Needs to curl. Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. Good sweep, guys. No, it's a good shot there. Freeze it up on the corner. Yeah. Blast uh, opportunity now for for Team Rock to get rid of all those rocks in the back of the forefoot. You got it. Wait was great. <laughs> Yep. Closer yep. to the nose. Hard. Right here, Daniel. You got it. Oh, just slivers by the top red. Hits and actually stays. I didn't know if they could do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good sweep from Danielle Schmiemann. Yeah. Are team Rock gonna try to, or Team Hunkin now gonna try to freeze that one in the back. to drag it all the way back. Get a buy, get a buy, get a buy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, Just falls a little bit short. Not bad though. I mean, that's that rocks in a spot yeah, where like it's that. tricky to get rid of and uh, can be uh, tapped up for for Team Hunk and it's mm -hmm. usable. For Kelsey sure. Rock quick to, to jump up to peel that guard. Just get those rocks out yep. in front and bring play into the house, I think. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing them leave too many guards up. Good throw, Becca. It's a numbers game now. Just try to get as many of those red rocks out of play. But yes, like you said, there there's a lot of good in the house there uh, for red. Is that especially that rock, one rock top eight is is really good spot. Yeah, it's impossible to remove. And they'll look to maneuver the others in order to get shot rock. Two and a half. We'll probably see a couple guards, a couple peels, and then uh, at some point, Jessica going to decide when she's going to come into the rings and, and try and tap those back and try and create a steal opportunity. Line's good. It was a, it was a three for Line's Team Sturme good. in the eighth. So final score, 11 for Needs Team Sturme, curl. two for Team Stixma. Hard. Hard, go, 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 go! Hard, go, 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 go! Okay. Team Rock taking a timeout here to discuss things over and see how they want this end to play out. So I don't know if we can quite hear uh, what Dana and Danielle are saying and what they're yeah, talking to Kelsey about, but if I were to guess, I think they would say they'd want to yeah, like that one. try to find the best way to get rid of rocks in yeah. in that jungle yeah, there, the or they'd they're, they're contemplating peeling the guard. Yeah. So. Okay, we're all in the house, so it is, I assume yeah, that they're looking like at peeling those rocks out yeah. from the top eight. Yeah, those ones in the top eight are tough to get rid of. I'm, um, I think we're going to see the peel yeah, here, okay. and they're just going to be they're just going to wait till Jesse makes her move, and then hopefully try and blast things out of there. Because right now, you know, rock is sitting too. 
Jesse's got to make the first move and, and kind of move those rocks around for them. Yeah. I think they must yeah. have been talking yeah. about for future reference, what should we do with yeah. these? Clean. Yep. Hard. This one's really curling. They're able to move that over to guard the edge of the eight foot. Still hanging around, but good enough. Is it too yep, did happen? the job. Got yeah. rid of, cleared up that center line area. Just, just tap to T. What kind of weight? Yeah, just tap to T line. Okay, so if I just throw a T line then. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, Ted. Now it it, uh, it forces Team Hunkin to move those rocks instead of Team Rock. So. Looking to just tap this rock to to freeze the back four rock. Whoa, whoa! Whoa line, whoa line! No, you can't. Got a curl. Got a curl. Close, close. Line's good. Curl, curl. No, straight, straight. Curl, curl. Curl if you can. Curl if you can. Go, 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 go. Good spot. Alrighty, well, okay, that? that was the first move. I think we'll see a double here on the Reds for uh, hey, for Team hey, Rock guys. here. Yeah, it was a it was a tough situation because they wanted to go for weight, but they had to wait for line. So uh, pretty close. It does yeah. look like it's uh, the double is accessible though. Uh, if, we, if you know that one on the, the side of the forefoot. You got it. Zoe Cinnamon hard on the brush. Yeah, it's a good throw. Good shot. Great shot. Can't do that. Huh. So well, jesse has got to come up with a creative know, plan know, now on how she's going to try and move these rocks around. This. Mm -hmm. yeah. At this point, they don't care if, uh, if Kelsey Rock would be sitting five or six in the house as long as they can get Char Rock at the end. Yeah, it, whether uh, <laughs> Team Hunkin just has to score. If, even if Kelsey Rock's team scores one, I think they're shaking hands. So um, they got to score at least one point here. Definitely move some rocks around here because I, I don't see a, a lane to even get Shaw Rock. So I think this is essentially opening up uh, a, a chance for them to to move their rock into the Shaw Rock position on Jesse's last. Which I mean, angled nicely to do that. Yeah. Try and flip that red one underneath there. This rock is curling across the center line. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Whoa! 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 Just try to bounce it. Tempting for a plan B. Didn't quite work out the way they wanted to. Uh, be no hit there for for Kelsey to make the double. Yeah, I think if like do you? Yeah, as you hear, it's not great. Yeah, if if, if, if she can make this, she you know she'd likely want to play the leave, right? So if uh, if she does sit right in front of that bonks it right on the nose. Hmm, it would leave ideal. Jesse a chance Could to potentially like get behind it. it. Yep. Really I think she wants to get rid of the shooter. Um, like a half a rock, two reds go or shooter goes. Know, and Jesse's would. only shot will be to freeze to that back yellow right, one. And Kelsey should either have a draw for one or, or blast that out of there. Mm -hmm. yeah. This could be an opportunity for Kelsey to really seal the deal, though. If she does pop this one right on the nose, uh, Jesse wouldn't even be able to get to a nose freeze. She would be able to get behind it with a freeze, and essentially Kelsey would throw the same shot. Again. Short little run back, yeah. Um, but great. it is a short little run back, and that's not a gimme. They're going to talk it over here and see. 
You got it. It looks like Danielle talked her into at least tightening up the broom or potentially changing the call. So um, couldn't quite hear, but I, I believe that no. objective number one is to get two out. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even uh, just off nose and just roll uh, on the other side of the center line would be a great shot because there's no draw path in there then for for Jesse's team to get it freeze to that back one. Well. I got a, a woe out of the hand. A little wide on release. Really Trying, it's she does the trick. Okay, does the trick. Does sitting three, yellow. Sitting three. Yeah, walk it on. Does, does however, it? leave yeah. the the freeze as an option. No, and if she yeah, makes this Make it good. on the right angle, it's going to be pretty tough to remove. Now that the they've wobble, overhooked, <laughs> they've put a bit of a stagger on those two in the in the top of the twelve, so they can they both can't be used. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she makes a good freeze here. Probably a draw for one for, for Kelsey. Like you said, one might be enough. Uh, score update on cheat B. Team... Richards was able to force Team Skrillic to a score of one in the eighth. So that uh, that game is tied at four in the, the ninth end. Team Richards holding the hammer. And Team Parent on Sheet C was able to secure two points on Team Shadiger, cutting the lead down to three. But Shadiger has a three point lead with Hammer in the tenth. Over curling a bit here, it looks like. Uh, Needs yeah. to get shot. Yeah, I like that. Well, draw for two for Kelsey Rock, and Just that should be handshakes today. if she makes this one. Uh, uh, good good, good effort on the sweep. Just it. couldn't quite keep yeah, the line, and the weight was pretty darn close. Well, I'll put more weight, and it might be, might be okay. Yeah, yeah, good sweep. Can't buy an inch today. You hear Jesse say, can't buy an inch today. <laughs> it just was a matter of inches. Just uh, a one here and a one there throughout the game. And uh, that string of steals really opened things up for Team Rock. Last rock here in the ninth end. Open draw for two. She's going to need at least full forefoot. Line to head. secure her two. Room. Danielle, if you can. They're asking Danielle hey. for curl. Danielle, Danielle. Got to get it off the guard. Oh, oh, just squeak by that corner by. guard. Coming in nice now. Got to go for now weight, we though. we need the weight. Uh, touch touch yeah. late. Good throw. It's just a single, so just one point oh, for Team Rock. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. <laughs> Sorry. Good game, good, game, good, game, good, good luck. luck. Good and that's it. That's that's handshakes. Team Hunkin conceding the the win, and uh, Team Rock picking up the 6-2 to two victory here in draw number one of uh, Sentinel Storage, Alberta Scotty's Tournament of, uh, Tournament of Hearts <laughs> action. Yeah. Rock moving to 1-0, and oh, Hunkin dropping to 0-1. Oh uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned as all of the games here at the Alberta Scotties are uh, being streamed on Curling Alberta's YouTube page. Uh, stay tuned. Our next draw is at 6.30 p.m. Uh, our feature game with commentary will be Team Parent versus Team Skrillex. So stay tuned for that, and thank you all for watching. <laughs>
Need extra space? We rock at storage. Try four weeks free at a location near you. Sentinel Storage, proudly Canadian and proud sponsor of the 2023 Alberta Scotties Tournament of Hearts. pulling for this generation of Canadians and the next for over 40 years at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium.